in the clip we're going to see, she talks about how he wasn't mean. Yeah. And so it was confusing to her as a, as yeah. a young girl. She always thought molestation is, oh, they're mean. But no, mm. he, he groomed her. Like he made her comfortable. That sort of thing. Yeah. Let's go to the clip. CBN News. Everybody. The scandal involving Robert Morris continues to reverberate throughout Christian circles. The Gateway Church founder resigned amid allegations he molested a 12-year-old girl in the 1980s. His departure came two days after issuing a statement admitting to, quote, inappropriate sexual behavior with a young lady. Morris added that he had confessed, repented, stepped out of ministry to receive counseling, and has since walked in purity. Today, we. What do you guys think about that? Since then, I've walked in purity. The first thing that came to mind was I thought it was weird that there wasn't a little bit more digging from the elders when he said it was impropriety with a young lady. That felt like maybe uh, myself being an elder, I, I would have taken some time to go, well, then we need to understand the depths, like the details of what's going on here, not just uh, vagaries. Knowing you, Andy, I just want to say for everyone involved that uh, Andy is the wrong overseer on the board if you want <laughs> to be like, but oh, we're cool, right? <laughs> we're, we're good, right? I mean, we are not mistake, cool. But- <laughs> not cool at all. No, uh, that just feeds Andy's flame, which I love. Every church needs an Andy to be like, wait, what the fuck did you say? Dude, that's, but I mean, I think each one of you guys in that same situation would be like, yeah, this sounds bad. Um, You need to be specific. We need to exactly oh, understand what's going on here. And if they didn't do that, then they're, then they're neglecting their duties. <laughs> they're still on the board. So yeah. even if it's technically correct, like some of them are claiming right now that we didn't know the extent of it. So if they didn't know the extent it of it... It doesn't get him off the hook. It doesn't get him off the hook, but to some degree... No, I'm it doesn't going, get them off the hook. Yeah, th- them either, right. Even yeah. If you walk down that path, this comes up, the past, the past, he was the pastor, lead pastor, okay. So It was before it was he, technically, to be clear, he's, it was, early, he's hold mid-20s? On. It was before yeah. it, what, it became Gateway Church. Gateway Church at this point is just giant. Like in the here and now, right? Currently. This was before it was technically a Gateway Church, but yes, it's an extension of his ministry. So they had like fourteen families, and I don't, I don't, I don't, who knows how big it but was. My my point being is, if there was a board, and he said I, you know, was in a, uh, had some inappropriateness with young woman. a young woman, young Kate, lady. There's no way young woman sounds young like she's at least yes, twenty. Yes, yes, young lady, young lady, like. Could be 14. Young lady, you better it's, go could clean be 20. your room. It's so, right. it's so gross. But the point, if you walk down the path of where does that conversation end, it sh- it shouldn't end. It should be like, okay, where's the, give us some details. Like, okay, who is this with? Is it somebody with the church? Is And, oh yeah, it was, you know, this family, so-and-so. Be like, well, Didn't- explain a little bit more. Like what happened? How, where was this? Um, how often did this happen? Those questions would come up. None of this happened, or I'm thinking the other side of this, the context of, okay, we don't want to rock the boat. Okay, you've done something. We just, and it, you know what? They're, you know, who knows? Like, could yeah, be like the family, like they're unstable or, you know, we'll just kind of like let this go because they have no leverage in this church anyway. I, I'm totally throwing things out there that could be plausible in w- why this was allowed to happen well, many, and go how many, forward. How, how many times do we hear, like, I didn't want, I didn't want it to besmir- besmirch the name of God or the kingdom. We didn't want to, like, alienate people. It's all in the effort to protect the yeah. institution that they're involved with under the guise of, like, not hurting their We're wit- just getting started. Not hurting their witness. Yeah. Do you like how I just did that, Andy? I went like this. You're showing growth. And, under, uh, and under the mic. Rabbit ears. You're evolving. Under the mic. And I'm impressed. In didn't real even, time. Didn't even touch the mic. Actually, I've been wondering how long he let's can hold that his video. breath. Yeah, let's, let's get through this video. ...conversation with his accuser, Cindy Clemishire. Cindy, I know the last few weeks, the last two weeks in particular, have been very chaotic. A lot has come out in media about your story. You have shared very openly what... ...my private... So... I have had an incredible amount of support, and I think that's what's kept me going. 
So, yeah, and you know, you have you have shared over the years. You have told people your story over the years. This obviously is a different level of that because it's been picked up by many outlets. As you said, you've done a number right. of interviews. What what changed in you? And maybe nothing did change, but what led you most recently? to share I was so interested openly, in this. knowing yeah. that it was going to have a bigger footprint this time. Well, like you said, I have been sharing. I think I started out just when I was in my 20s sharing with friends or, you know, when it, something might come up, share my story, not even fully grasping what my story was at that time and really dug into counseling and um, just focused on trying to understand what happened to me because of the connection with Robert and Debbie and the family and the family closeness and friends along with church. And um, after I was probably about 35 when I really understood the depth and magnitude of what Robert really did, not just to me, but to my family with all the grooming. And then of course the sexual abuse and the emotional abuse, the mental, I mean, just it's every part of your being is manipulated during these, the, that kind of abuse. So at 35, when I was able to actually accept the term sexual molestation and that he abused me because it sounded so mean and I would tell my counselor, but he wasn't mean to me. And she said, it doesn't have to be mean. And I um, heard the term actually on Oprah that instead of calling them child molesters, we should call them child seducers. And when I heard all that description, that's when I started being a lot more Doesn't vocal really about the story. And like most believers, you don't want to do anything that's going to tarnish the name of God. There it is. And you're yep. not going to, you don't want to tarnish the church. You don't want to hurt other believers. You don't want to, you know, cause another person to not come to Jesus. And so I never wanted it to be a big exposing, you know, I just wanted someone in leadership somewhere to take him out of the pulpit because we did not feel as a family that that's where he should be in leadership when you can't even fill out a document honestly about working in your own church nursery should you really be in the pulpit boom and so anytime he would speak in a church that we were associated with or going to um in any way either i would or my parents or my sister would go um and confront leadership and talk to them so if you fill out a form and say hey that you're you want to be in children's ministry have you ever had inappropriate contact with a child and you say yes obviously oh you don't get to do children's ministry right. and we should probably make sure that legally you're allowed to be out and about um but you've been restored. You can go back into main pastoring. That's fine. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into that, but it's like... Well, she was saying that he was uh, not filling out those forms truthfully. Right. But that, but she also mentioned that her and like her sisters, whenever they would... If they were in some other church situations where he was speaking, that, that they would go and tell leadership, hey, look, this guy... Look what this guy has done. So like... Why are we only hearing about this now? Yeah. This is odd. And she said she had talked about it before. Like sh she, she shared with, it sounds like she shared it with other people. She, shared, but maybe, maybe she didn't it, share like the who. But they're like, and it's just catching on now. I'm like, w what are we doing? I, I don't understand. I, I, I do not understand how she was talking about this. He had done something and she's trying to figure out what he actually did. Did you tell your parents? I mean, if you told your parents, if this all happened in the... Well, no, and he stepped down. Like, he publicly stepped down at the time. Right. But not for the specific nature of it. But it was more under the vagary of, like, I need a time away because yeah. I've done this inappropriate thing. And it went... Because it was... a Back then, it's a di totally different time, social media. Now, I don't know where this new... Like, this new spark ignited the flame, but it, you just need social media and a little bit of the right gasoline from a media company to, to be like, right. blow it up. Into she the talks ether. about it a little bit more though. And, and I don't know if it's, I, I think it, I think I am, I think I am correct. I think her parents were out to lunch because it's, it's like parents would have stepped in a whole lot more. Like, can you imagine like one well, of, like one what? of our girls? No. Uh, 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 
we'd it's be going to end the, well. We'd, be, we'd go to the authorities immediately. Like that person would be in prison. That's true, but I mean, I know that's true about us. I'm just wondering to to steel man their parents' position in a different time where you're, you know, maybe they didn't know the exact details of it from her. Maybe that's something that's trickled out from her. And so at the time, maybe it is a version of like, even her, she didn't, Cindy did not want to rock the boat. She didn't want She's to hurt the witness. She's a kid at the time. Right. Right. But even into her 20s and, and, and at whatnot. At 35, oh, I figured out this was molestation. How did you figure that out? Because of the things that were done to me. Okay. Going back, those things that were done to you would have been told to your parents I don't know what you she told. So I don't maybe, know what she told them. Maybe that's then I go to the the parents. Really, were just like people who were like, "Yeah, go hang out with." Whoever. Either checked out or she was young enough to where she's like, "I'm not even sure how to handle this, and I'm pretty sure it's going to destroy everything, so I'm going to bury it." I don't know. It, this seems like a perfect example of where for where a predator sees the when, opening when the parent. Now there there is something I don't know if that's true in this case just allegedly and whatnot but what you're saying is right in that people that do groom they look for situations sure. where the parents aren't dialed in quite as much so whether he, it's true about this case or not that is a reality that you're describing my right. guess is what happened was uh, I think he he stepped down without her prompting anything. So he stepped down shortly after this because remember he's in his like early twenties, so he takes a couple years off. So so it's almost like let me leave before I get fired. I preemptively will step down from this situation, and then I'll. Uh, so then she's processing this stuff because uh, as she describes it, um, I think when we play the clip, maybe I'll let I'll let I don't want to put words in her mouth the way that she yeah. describes it. Why, why don't you go ahead and play it and then we'll. We'll I will, talking. but before it leaves my mind, Andy, you you talking about the people knew, even back then, they knew that it was inappropriate with a young lady, and the fact that no more questions were asked, like that is just like blowing up in my mind. Like, what the fuck were you doing? Like, you're not off the hook, elders back then. We didn't know it was a twelve year old. It doesn't. You didn't ask any more questions. That's why this thing is building because there are claims of we didn't know, but I don't know if we'll get to it in this clip. There, like there are board members that she actually emailed and got a response. Like I don't know if yeah. it, I don't know how recent that was, but yeah. it was. Yeah. Hey, I hurt someone. I hurt someone really badly, like physically hurt them really badly. But you're sorry, and I think I should step down. Okay. Well. All right. Okay. Now we're. <laughs> <laughs> it probably didn't go. It probably didn't go like that. But no it's further some, questions. Yeah, no. I think I've heard enough here. Can I buy you a drink and we'll forget about All this? Right, let's hit play. <laughs> 